Well, three locally owned restaurants in downtown Lafayette have closed or are going to close within just a month's time. We looked into why and what business owners and members of the community think it will take to keep the same thing from happening to others in the area. It's, it's horrible. In a matter of a month, downtown Lafayette will lose not one, not two, but three locally owned restaurants. The mom and pop restaurants, the holes in the walls are usually have the best food. But it's more than the food. Take it from heirloom co-owner Justin Henry. When you support independent restaurants, you support their owners and their employees, and they support the community. Lafayette's always been all the small businesses here, and if they're gone, then who knows what will go in there. I'm not going to challenge the chain restaurants on 26th to tell me what they do, but they're not owned by people that live here. And they're not owned by people whose kids go to school here. Heirloom will close its doors on February 18th. Restoration in Sylvia's brick oven closed late last month. Although situations varied for each owner, finances were the biggest issue. Restaurants don't make a lot of money. They're, they're basically a labor of love. But the love needs to be mutual. I think the community has to decide what it wants. If you want to have a good independent restaurant scene, then you need to go out of your way to support it. And Henry says owners need to step up to provide more local food options in the area. It's a really weird conundrum to me that Purdue is one of the nation's foremost restaurant hospitality programs. I mean, really well known, really respected throughout the country, but you don't see that crossover in our local independent restaurant scene. Henry hopes that changes. He says he's grateful for the chance to be one of the few to offer local farm to table food. It's kind of sad that they won't be around anymore to have that option. Henry says at this point he isn't sure if Heirloom will reopen in Lafayette.